Today we talk about boredom and kids and uh, how it can trigger creativity and is it good can we enforce it should we enforce it and what kind of an impact it forms on kids today for example i spoke to my son and you know we all say let them get bored so i asked him what if i forced you to do nothing and he said is read a book an option so as you can see the concept of doing nothing doesn't really exist it's tough for a child to do nothing in fact it's almost like a punishment to force them to do nothing and uh, like i i asked my son if i actually forced you to do nothing nothing no reading nothing what would happen then that would be just boring i would i would become a mindless zombie maybe yeah right ironically um, if i ask my kids you know what have you done the whole day and their normal response would be nothing yeah so there you go you know experts talk about the awesomeness of being bored and how it triggers creativity and the imagination and of course these are qualities that everyone parents non parents friends everyone agree is so needed and it should be nurtured in kids today but getting kids into the nothing zone and getting them bored so that it can finally trigger off some madness is easier said than done everything should be amazing kids are sweet and adoring but so confusing what to do just listen to dad musings how often do we actually let our kids get bored The trouble is that we live in an age where we never allow ourselves or give ourselves the chance to be bored. If I had to use a quote, Albert Einstein said, "Creativity is the residue of time wasted." Another good quote is from Scott Adams who said, "I have noticed that my best ideas always bubble up when the outside world fails in its primary job of frightening, wounding or entertaining me." So I think we kind of all when i sit with parents and friends and we chat about it we kind of all agree in theory and it sounds really nice that oh yes boredom is 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 good and we never let our kids get bored and you know we must do that but when it actually comes down to the practical reality it's not something that we really do basically the trouble is that we live in an age that we just don't have the opportunity to get bored because all the entertainment we could ever dream of you know is 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 right there it's all around us it's at our fingertips it's in the it's in our pan pockets we just have to take to whip the phone out and the whole world resides in that i mean forget kids so often if you are in a workspace you're sitting in a meeting you're waiting for somebody at a cafe you know and uh, you have nothing to do you whip out your phone and uh, either you're replying to emails or you're checking up on some recipe for something that needs to be made in the evening or you're going onto some social network to just browse through and see what's happening in the world but it's almost impossible for you to sit still and stare at a wall and do nothing and maybe just let your thoughts thoughts go free i actually once was sitting at a coffee shop and a bunch of teenagers walked in from a bunch of college students and i'm like oh wow and they were chatting and there was noise and there was laughter and when they came in and sat down and i got back to my work i had my laptop and i was writing a song and um, it suddenly went silent you know after 5 minutes i realized that oh a bunch of eight teenagers have just walked in and i wonder what's happened and i just bent over and looked and they were all sitting at a coffee table all of them whipped out their phones and were busy on it so i actually leaned a little further as uh, uh, subtly as possible and looked into somebody's one of the person's phone whose back was facing towards me and the person was on their home screen punched into an app punched out swiped the home screen punched into the next app punched out swiped up swiped down swiped left swiped right and didn't do anything i think there was just four more happening there that everybody else is on their phone occupied and i should be too and that really got me thinking we are so uncomfortable with boredom we don't know what to do in fact it's seen as a negative if somebody looks at you doing nothing 
it's like oh that must be a loser you know nothing to do no friends to talk to right so many people have said that their best ideas come while they are ironing or washing or going for a long walk start just staring at the wall you know uh, for example avoiding work is a great way to focus the mind so how do we what do we do how do we get our kids to get there so i asked my 11 year old you know if i had to force you to sit down and do nothing nothing like you know literally like a prisoner i said think about it what are you left with what can you do i'd picture things in my mind i'd imagine stuff because that's all we, that's open and then i asked him like has that ever happened you know have you done has doing nothing led to something interesting yes a lot of good ideas so like because we have a lot i i got an idea once to make a very soft slime once while doing nothing so then in my fatherly wisdom that was a correct solution right do nothing get great ideas and um but hang on as we all know our kids are always one step ahead of us he kind of had an idea of where i was leading to and i could see that he had this oh my god i am going to implicate myself with my answers and uh, i don't know where dad is going with this because i didn't tell him i was doing a podcast at that time and i and he probably thought that i was trapping him <laughs> into doing nothing for the next few days so um he came up with this okay so maybe it depends on what i how i was using it like if i was using the tv to watch a slime video there is a good 60 or 70% chance i would have thought of it um i would have thought of like maybe not doing the world, like a very soft slime maybe i would have thought of doing something else but i also have gone the idea sometimes where i try to remake stuff from tv like for instance once i saw someone make the in stacks mini 9 camera out of paper and i i had a phase where i really wanted that camera so um i i tried to remake it i found a tutorial on how to make it out of paper and before i watched the tutorial i tried to make it without any paper and i see the logic there right because creative things can motivate further creativity which is fine So I asked another leading question to my now getting smarter 11 year old uh, which was does too much screen time make you cranky? Uh bored maybe but not like not angry but if someone told me to turn it off at that point maybe I would get a little bit frust not frustrated but irritated but later i would understand that it was only because i was i was overdoing it and i needed to like i needed to do something more productive like go down do skipping dribble a basketball politically correct and deftly kept the door open and even added something he's not done since i've got him this instrument which was play the ukulele yeah so that of course he felt that i would go wow what a lovely sorted and balanced child of course he's not touched the ukulele at all so then yes here was an interesting question put to my 11 year old which was how would your parents react if you told them that you were bored if i told my parents i was bored they they'd say that like hold hold up how are you bored yo you're like a person who is never bored and they sometimes give me a list of ideas and things to do or they like maybe they'd show me stuff that could inspire me to do things or i just pick up a book and read or they tell me to read so here's a thought maybe this is a great idea but you if your child ever came to you and said i'm bored you know i probably would tell the child now take 10 minutes do nothing nothing don't look for an activity just stare at the wall just do nothing and think about what can you do to relieve yourself of the boredom and then come to me with ideas instead of me giving you ideas why don't you you give me ideas and then let's discuss it and let's figure out what you could do ideally give them the space to figure it out you know and of course i think as a reward we should then implement one or two of those ideas because 
they've actually thought of something that they can do. They've taken 10 minutes to delve further into the boredom and hopefully come up with a solution that will sort that problem out. All right, so here's perspective on what they expect from you when they come to you saying that they are bored. So, of course, I pose this question as, Kahan, if you were a parent and your child came to you saying, Dad, I'm bored, how would you help your child? If I was a parent and my child told me they were bored, um, I would first ask why they were bored. I would then like help them find a boredom buster and help them out with it. Or I just give them like, I just say that, you know, why don't you just read a book or something like that. And I guess that answer tells me what my child is expecting from me. Alright, so let's look at some solutions for boredom. So, of course, I scoured the net and looked for various solutions and what do people do and what do the experts say. And here was an interesting quote by a Dr. Vanessa who said, Children need to sit in their own boredom for the world to become quiet enough that they can hear themselves. Which again sounds lovely and beautiful in theory. But how do we actually get there, right? So a couple of solutions, of course, when the vacations are, are happening and most of us may be at work and, you know, it's, it's, it's always tough to figure out what to, how to engage your kid. Um, so how do we handle the bored child and teach them to embrace these moments of free time? One way is to make the kids feel that it's an opportunity rather than a deficit. Right, So boredom is not a bad thing or a negative thing. However, it's, 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 a, it's a very great opportunity to actually start thinking out of the box and start doing things that you otherwise during your school time would never have the time to do because they're running to school, they're running for classes, they're running for swimming, tennis or perhaps some tuition that they're taking. And, and here is now an opportunity when they get to do nothing and do things they would never really do when school was on, right? So first is try and change their attitude that you're bored. Oh, wow, that's great. You're bored. Wow, it's, 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 a, it's a great opportunity now to do things you never would really do. So, so perhaps approach it as a positive and not a negative. The second thing is, you know, material. Like very, very often, especially when my kid was younger, my 11-year-old was younger, he would take boxes from all the Amazon deliveries. He actually made a movie screen with images inside, cut a little hole and uh, made a moving picture, shown a torch through a mirror to give you some background light. And we were amazed, absolutely amazed, because of course I and years where the yin and yang come into play, my wife is more the organic, put the screens away uh, kind of mother. I am the more, oh, you're bored, I'm busy doing something, just go ahead and watch television kind of father occasionally. And uh, at those moments, he's come up with the most amazing activities that has kind of taken me by surprise. So point number two, leave some material around like cardboard boxes or slime is, is, is something that kids love to play with. So the moment we told our 11 year old, no, you cannot buy any more slime. He actually went on to YouTube, figured out ways to make slime, asked for the raw material for it and actually started a business of selling slime. And of course, keep in mind, he's still just 11 years old. So do keep in mind, boredom gives the child an inner quiet and this inner quiet is so essential to help them with imagination and self-awareness and it's certainly worth putting in a little extra effort for. So then coming back to my 11 year old, here are a couple of solutions that actually I thought came out from him. You know, so I asked him, if I had to introduce nothing in your life, how would you see it panning out? If you do a little bit of nothing, for me, I don't mind doing a little bit because sometimes you just want to, after a long day, you just want to sit down and just do absolutely nothing except for the action you're doing. And then having forced my son to do nothing and keeping in mind, of course, that he truly believed that this was a one-time thing, here's what he had to say. It felt good because I had been very active. 
so if it was a nice cooling like sensation going through the body where like i felt refreshed and interestingly if i had to force him down and i and an interest and interestingly i told him if i had to force you down to do nothing you know what are you left with what would you do i don't think it's a bad thing to be bored because sometimes when you're bored it's like a superpower the boredom will give you an idea that formulates something else and your imagination just runs wild so while i think this was a picture perfect answer i'm sure the next time when we as parents enforce boredom upon this highly intelligent species we call our children he won't walk this talk perhaps but at least the fact that he can articulate the thought for me is a step in the right direction and now let's get into what i call boss mode boss mode essentially is my boss which is my wife aditi because everything i do i feel is awesome until she comes and does it in another way or gives another perspective which always is awesomer than what i've done so let's get into boss mode and see what would she do i believe a certain amount of boredom is necessary it is required to fuel creativity i also at one level feel that there is nothing like boredom i think with my kids i found there's always something that occupies them interests them from their environment from what is around them every single time our son has been banned from the screens the creativity just it it erupts it overflows he just looks around he finds he finds things to do to occupy himself which are very very um, creatively satisfying which he does not get from a screen and it only happens when there is a ban that is put on him since he was a child if ever there was a time that he did come and say i was i'm bored i'd involve him in whatever i was doing in whatever way whether it was work whether it was kitchen cleaning house i believe anything i i am doing the child is a part of it and i feel somewhere the child feels very important especially if it is work especially if it is if i'm doing some calculations if i'm doing something i give him a paper and say come on just help me with this do this so he also feels that he's not being treated as a child and just like you know pushed away i i would include him in whatever i was doing uh, but the fact that we never say we are bored uh i think kids learn from that if we go to places if we visit places and say ah oh, this is so pakao this is so boring the kids at some point are, are uh, 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 absorbing that and imbibing that at a very very fundamental level if they see that we are enthusiastic about everything at some point they do imbibe that and they find uh, uh, just joy and fun in everything in fact i know a few kids who i've actually spoken to and they've said oh god uncle we have to go to disneyland again this year disneyland paris and you know we've actually told our parents can we skip it because it's so boring and you know <laughs> i mean we go to a park somewhere in in, in mumbai that's where we live and uh, we still have fun the kids still look forward to oh let's go to this park let's 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 spend the day just walking around and doing nothing so honestly there is no right or wrong situation it's what you do with the situation you are in that triggers boredom for the child or no and by trigger i mean um it's your attitude that is actually seeping down to your kids and that's so so important to be aware of and to constantly know that what you do is being watched and subconsciously absorbed by your kids so yeah i think that's that's such great wisdom that's come from the boss because you know we we just have so much fun that there is no space for the child to say i am bored So to end this podcast I think boredom is good boredom is great but given in small doses to help you start to understand and to find that inner quiet in fact I think go on holiday and even on holiday create that boredom time in fact I think they should have a boredom resort where you go there and do nothing 
and then creativity flows and <laughs> they should have actual material over there that you can pick up and use at that bottom resort maybe i'll start one like that all right until the next podcast don't forget to subscribe and uh, for more answers or perhaps to compound your confusion on children related hair tearing issues oh my god what is happening our kids have got us balding are you in the dark need some light subscribe to dad musings <laughs>